Dylan Schumacher, Citadel Defense. I sent out an email a couple weeks ago uh, to my emailing list, which, by the way, if you're not on my emailing list, there's a link in the description below. Go ahead and sign up for that. And uh, I was informing the people on that email uh, about some uh, legal battles here in Minnesota because they were trying to uh, pass some, some gun restriction, which they're still trying to pass right now uh, here in Minnesota. And so I was alerting everybody on this email list, like, hey, they're trying to take your rights away, and, you know, this is what the bills are, this is what they're doing, this is why you should be against them, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, and, and just giving them a couple uh, ways to do something about that if they so chose, like join the Minnesota Gun Caucus uh, here in Minnesota, which is a great, great organization. And uh, I got a unsubscribe from that, and uh, which, you know, okay, whatever. You don't want my emails anymore, it's fine. But in the unsubscribe box, he had wrote... Um, don't spam me with your political views, you know, it's extremely unprofessional, and then unsubscribed. And uh, I was a little mad, if I'm honest, right? But uh, more importantly, I thought about that, and I thought, can you be into guns, like be, be seriously into guns, and not be political? Is there such a thing as a person who says, I'm into guns, I'm, I'm into shooting, and, uh, you know, but I'm not, I'm not political, I don't get political about it. And the answer that I arrived at is no, you can't. Uh, I don't know how you can be enjoy guns, this thing in our culture, that is one of the top, I'd say, two or three most contentious political issues in the country. Uh, the other two up there being abortion, right, and health care. Uh, abortion, health care, and guns. I don't, I don't know what order you'd put those in, but, but those are the top three contentious political issues in the country. For sure, by, by far. I mean, if you disagree, leave a comment. I'd be really curious to hear your other ones. So I don't know how you can be into guns and not be political about it. To, to me, that's the equivalent of saying, I really care deeply about abortion, but I'm not politically about it. You know, I'm pro-life, I'm pro-choice, whatever. Uh, I'm into murdering babies. That's what pro-choice is. Um, but I'm not, I'm not political about it, right? I, I, don't, I don't understand how you could, you could possibly say that. Um, so, I don't think there's room to be into guns and to not be political. And if you would say that's you, you say, well, listen, Dylan, I'm, I'm into guns, but I'm not, I'm not political about it. I don't mess around with all that. Uh, well, you're not going to have your guns for very long. Uh, I, can, I can assure you, because they're coming for them, right? I remember when I very first got my permit. I was with my, my buddy, and I said, listen, if I ever get all crazy and I think they're coming for your guns, whatever, just put a bullet in the back of my head. Uh, and, and he always makes fun of me about that now because I, I've come to realize that's what actually, that's actually what they want to do, right? So, uh, I just, again, I, I'd be really curious to hear from you or if there's someone else you know or whatever, if you think there's a way to be into guns but to not be political about it. Because one, they're, it's super contentious, don't know how you could do that. Two, uh, like I said, they're, they're coming to take things away from you, right? The, the progressive uh, left wants to take things away from you. And people like me, I would say, we just want to be left alone, right? I just want to do my thing. I just want to shoot my guns, teach people to defend themselves. But they want to take those rights away from you. So, I don't know how there's any room there for middle ground. Be curious. Do brave deeds and endure.